Tonight, Tibell Entertainment proudly presents Broadway Boxing, an evening of throwback boxing for your entertainment. Tonight's bouts are brought to you by Wings of a Worcester, Underground Clown, and Blue Wave Group. Your first bout of the evening is scheduled for four rounds. This in the Super Middleweight Division. Your three judges scoring from ringside on a 10-point must system are Paul Barry, Matthew Regan, and Leo Gerstel. And your referee in charge of the action once the bell rings is Carmelo Fulkendo. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing red and white, weighs in at 166 and a quarter pounds. His record reads eight victories with only two defeats with five big wins coming by way of knockout. He comes to us by way of Patterson, New Jersey. Please welcome Richard Pearson. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks and weighing in at 163 and a quarter pounds. His record reads five victories, no defeats with two big wins, coming by way of knockout. From Woonsocket, Rhode Island, by way of Carolina, Puerto Rico, Renato Rodriguez. Gentlemen, I give you both the instructions in the locker room. I expect a good clean fight. Remember to protect yourselves at all times. You good? You good? good. Let's go. Okay, Brian, what do we have in the numbers? He stands out. Richard Pearson, he's 29 years old. He has twice as many fights, 10 fights. The Ronaldo Rodriguez. All right, round one, uh, round one of a scheduled four. Super middleweight, Ronaldo Rodriguez in the black trunks and Richard Pearson in the black in the uh, red and white trunks. And we should point out right away, this is Ronaldo Rodriguez's first fight in six years. And I got a phone call from a friend of mine, Maureen Shea, who told me to look out for Pearson. Says Pearson has been training in um, Patterson, New Jersey, the gym she's at. He's been a former spawn partner, chief spawn partner for Kelly Pavlik, for Edison Miranda, and for Joshua Clotty. He has power in both hands, and he's very seasoned inside the ring. You can see there, nice counter right hand over a lazy jab by Pearson. And this first round has to be difficult for Rodriguez. He's only had five fights as a pro, but this is his first fight in six years. And he took off a pound of weight at, at the weigh-in. He came in about a pound over, about a half pound over, actually, but he took a pound off, so. But Ronaldo Rodriguez, trained by Peter Manfredo Sr., perhaps the best trainer uh, right now in the New England area, so you know he's in shape. Yeah, but what I see here, I mean, it's early on. Right um, uppercut there by Pearson. I was just about to say, Steve, before he landed that uppercut. What I see here is the counterpunching is going to be the key. Pearson's counterpunching very sharply. And after a few... And another right uppercut, and Rodriguez is hurt. Well, I was going to say after a few rounds, but it looks like this is going to end early. Well, it could end right here now. Rodriguez punching off the ropes. Pearson very quickly realizing that right uppercut was his ticket. He's landed it a couple of times. Well, Ma Maureen Shea haven't lied to me yet, and, and I don't think she lied about this. A counter right hand, and Rodriguez goes down. In all sense of purposes, I think this is over. He may beat the count, but the fight is over. He's only going to get tattooed with another right hand over the top. And it's waved off. It's over in the first round. Rodriguez fighting for the first time in six years does not get out of the first round. Richard Pearson, former sparring partner for Kelly Pavlik, scores a first round stoppage. The movie that uncovered the truth. This wasn't a boxing match. This was a third. And he really did it with one, two, or three significant punches, and that was enough to beat Ronaldo Rodriguez. Well, early on he found a key with that uppercut. It was a left uppercut 
that had the um, success the first minute around. The and then he started nailing them with the right uppercut. And no argument here with that stoppage by referee Carmelo Okendo. Well, you can see here, he rocked back. Rodriguez threw a lazy right hand. He rocked back, came right, followed, followed through with a right uppercut. Dead on the chin. You can see here, he rocked back off of that lazy right hand. Counterpunched perfectly with a right uppercut. And it didn't look like he had his entire body into that shot. But it was just a perfectly placed shot. And he was hurt early on. Perhaps a 30 seconds before that, he's hurt with, um, with another right hand on the top. Disappointing, disappointing first loss for the hometown favorite there. And there's... There's your winner, Richard good. Pearson. I'm sorry, Steve. Um, Pearson showed some good, good boxing intelligence in there. He knew he had the success with counterpunching, and he stuck with it. Let's go to the ring announcer, Johnny Vina. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. Two minutes, 32 seconds of round number one. Referee Carmelo Oquendo stops his contest. Be a winner by TKO victory and still undefeated, Renaldo Rodriguez. Wrong announcement there. Well, I Can think uh, let's try that again. Richard Pearson. There we go. I think the most surprised guy in the house was Ronaldo Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> you get knocked out and you get declared the winner. And we will be back with more 